So the first thing we're going to do is to quickly run through what is supplied as part of a full approved system. We actually supply three different systems which can be tailored uh, to suit how you want to use them. As part of a full approved system you can expect to receive the following items along with a PC, printer, keyboard and mouse. The main component of approved system one is the fixture. Uh, this is fitted with three digital probes. We have two digital probes that are measuring uh, tip diameter, a digital probe that's measuring barrel diameter, and between the three of them they'll take a measurement uh, from tip to barrel concentricity. The fourth digital probe is used to measure the working and the overall lengths. This is actually a length standard so that the probe actually knows what that distance is. So this is set at 133.6. And the fifth digital probe is used to measure die bores. We also supply an interface box which can be used uh, to hook up instruments. So we can use calipers, verniers and micrometers to take other readings. We have a foot switch which obviously is normally on the, on the floor and we have some um, length pots here which help steady the B type punches and the D type punches whilst we're measuring. Also for die bore measurements uh, we supply a full set of calibrated ring gauges. We also offer full on-site training which normally lasts for three days and this incorporates installation, training and configuration. For ongoing support, we can offer this by way of remote access and assist in any queries, problems, modifications quickly and professionally. And this means that no matter where you are in the world, we can support you. This ongoing support is free of charge. So just to have a quick look now at how we actually use this hardware. So you can see this fixture here is set up to take a B-type punch can be modified to take a D punch uh, quite quickly and easily um, but now for the moment I'm going to take a, a, a reading from a, a round B punch. I'm going to put my punch in here like this and well I'm happy that it's seated in there correctly a measurement will be taken of the tip diameter and the barrel diameter and by rotating the punch I can actually take a tip to barrel concentricity reading. When I'm happy that the reading is so what I expect to see, I press the foot switch to accept the reading and then I move on to the next stage in the process. This means that I'm going to now measure the working length and overall length. So I'm going to take away the length standard and I'm going to put the punch into the holding pot and put that under the probe. So what I'm looking for now is I'm looking for the deepest measurable point. Once I'm happy with that reading, I press the foot switch, I invert the punch, and now I'm going to take the overall length. When I'm happy with that reading, I press the foot switch, and we start all over again with punch number two. So you can see how quickly a process that actually is. So I would work through a set of tooling and then at the end of that I would want to analyse that data and I can do that by just looking at the figures or I can put those into some kind of graph. For die bore measurements <coughs> I would use uh, one of the calibrated ring gauges to suit the size of die that I was measuring. So in this instance I'm going to measure this 13mm die this comes with a split ball probe and a needle point. And what happens is as the uh, split ball probe enters the die bore, you can see this needle point just moving up slightly, and that pushes against the probe, which is locked into position here, and then takes the reading. So I just screw that in there. So I'm going to put the ring gauge in there. I'm going to tell the computer that that ring gauge is 13 millimetres so that's what the probe is looking for. 
and then when I'm ready to measure I put my dies on there and I move the probe through the die. Well I'm happy with the reading, I accept it and away we go on to the next one. If I was to measure a shaped die then I would use a vernier to do this and the vernier just feeds back the information to the computer in much the same way as the probes.